All right, going to do a video on yet another SJW liberal woke failure put out by Disney Plus. In this case, it's the uh, Willow series that is on Disney Plus, streaming on Disney Plus. And in this case, the uh, LGBT homosexual ideology is at the core of this whole series. And it's so far not doing very well financially. You know, in fact, the Disney Plus streaming service just as a whole is not doing very well financially. But this is what happens when you insert uh, woke SJW liberal ideology into your so-called kids, you know, kids content because people don't want to pay to see that. Just normal average people. But it says here on Breitbart News, uh, queerness is core of Disney Plus Willow series. And it's got a, a very uh, disgusting image of a act of uh, lesbianism. Guarantee that YouTube censors are going to come after me for that one. Wouldn't be surprised. But it says here on the article. Uh, Disney streaming series Willow, a show aimed at kid, kids, proudly features a queer romance front and center. Is there a difference between gay and queer? I'm not Googling that. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't. Neither would I. These people really need to get over themselves. Remember that nice little 1988 movie Willow? The, that mildly entertaining fantasy novel with Val Kilmer and Warwick Davis? The one centered on the romance between Kilmer's Mad Mardik Mardigan, I think that's how you say it, and Sorsa, who was played by Kilmer's then wife, Joanne Wiley. I think that's how you say it. Uh, well, here uh, the groomers go again. Willow's two main characters, Kit and Dove, uh, both young women who wrestle with the legacy of. Elora Danen uh, writes a breathless Susanna Polo at Polygon. A good part of Kit's journey is real realizing she is in mutual love with Dove. Lesbianism in this uh, kid series that people are, that if you're on Disney Plus, you're basically paying to see that. Uh, Polygon interviewed the series writer Jonathan Cassadin. Uh, so, so this is how many queer relationships uh, come to be at the core of this show. When did it enter the process and was there any pushback? Uh, well, now they're getting pushed back. It says, he responds with, there is no pushback. What's interesting is, I hope and I believe, we're at the moment where you're going to see a, a paradigm shift in that, uh, in that. And hopefully the way that it's going to happen is that these kinds of queer stories, particularly like this one, that were just, uh, that were just organic to the narrative uh, we were telling, find their way in and become less and less of a surprising and unusual thing to see. That's the whole goal. Of, uh, that's the whole goal of all this, trying to normalize all this stuff. But look what's look what the results are financial failure it says there is no pushback y'all disney did not push back when the core of disney of a disney streaming ser a series aimed at kids turn gay disney you know and it talks about that uh, he says this is what they're saying uh yet yeah, he uh hey we want to make this kid show all about homosexuality cool carry on has anyone seen my uh bill and Kija catalog again not good at reading on a computer but they're saying they haven't got any pushback really well uh that's proven wrong by the fact that it's a financial failure uh and what's great and what and what great timing just when bob Iger returns to, to the uh, disney captain's chair carrying all these lies about culture wars what culture wars Iger was the one who helped push his successor and now predecessor bob chapek i call him bob paycheck off the ledge to oppose a florida law that protects small children from being groomed by all the creeps and perverts employed in government-run schools the truth is this disney's grooming grooming crusade uh, began under Iger, adding innocence shattering homosexuality to quote entertainment uh, aimed at little kids come from uh, Bob Iger era you know basically talking about uh, and that and that the and that move had nothing to do with teaching little kids to be decent towards those different from them Disney managed to do that for nearly a hundred years without exposing kids to sexuality when a child is exposed to the idea of adult sexuality and sexual preference it is not up to Bob Iger or Disney or public schools the decision is up to the parents uh, and now Iger is running around saying he wants to uh, disen uh, disengage kids from culture from culture wars in era era dos. I think I say it. Uh, but on the very same day, he's out saying that this company is out selling Queer Willow to kids. Yeah, exactly. That's been the whole goal of the uh, pushing of this homosexual ideology upon children because they're not reproducers; they're recruiters. Plain and simple. Because uh, it's unnatural, and they, they have to get kids into this whole thing. See, I always crack, I, I crack up with these liberal atheists. Oh, you know, you shouldn't be allowed to teach your kids religion because they're not old enough to understand it. But somehow they're old enough to understand sexuality and gender. Totally inconsistent, but again, consistency is something that's too much to ask for from these socially liberal SJW uh, lunatics. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.